Hi everyone, I will talk about interface concept in Java. Why use interface in Java? What are the advantages of interface? Then I will give the real time example for the interface. An interface is a reference type similar to a class that can contains only abstract methods, default methods, static methods and constants. After Java 8 version, the default method and static method has been introduced. Before that, the interfaces consist of only abstract methods and constants. Why is interface? The interface is used to achieve abstraction and multiple inheritances. Key characteristics of interfaces. Interfaces can't have constructors because they can't be instantiated directly. We can't create the object to the interfaces. All methods in the interface are implicitly public and abstract. We don't use these keywords for defining the methods in the interface. They are implicitly public and abstract. The interface can contain constants. They are by default public, static and final. Interfaces supports multiple inheritance. The Java class does not support the multiple inheritance due to ambiguity gets by the compiler. It has been implemented by interface. From Java 8 onwards, interfaces can have default and static methods. These have been implemented in the interface. Look at this simple example. The interface, interface name, it is consist of abstract method. It doesn't have any constants. This method are implicitly public and abstract. This method must be implemented in the class itself. The implements keyword is used to implement the interface. The class circle, the implement shape, this method have been implemented in the class. While you are implementing the abstract method, you must use the access modifier public. Why? Why? Because the methods in the interface are public and abstract. Then while you are implementing abstract method in the class, you must use the access modifier public, otherwise it is a default. Implementing multiple interfaces, which is also be called as to implement multiple inheritances using interface. One interface's name is printable, which has one abstract method print. Another interface showable, which is consist of one abstract method is show. There are two independent interfaces. Public class document implements printable and showable. The class can implement more than one interfaces. The class can extend only one class. That is the reason the multiple inheritance has been implemented by using interface. These two methods has been implemented in the class. The print method has been implemented and show method has been implemented. What are the advantages of interfaces? Achieves abstraction, supports multiple inheritances, encourages the use of polymorphism. The method or any concept we used in interfaces. These are the major advantages of interfaces. See the problem statement. Develop a payment gateway system for e-commerce platform in Java, where different payment methods like credit card bank transfer need to be supported. Use interfaces to ensure that all the payment methods implement a common structure. The common structure has to be defined in the interfaces, which must be implemented in the classes. Interface requirements, define interface payment method. The interface name is payment method with methods like process payment and validate details. These two are the abstract methods of interfaces. These two methods must be implemented. These two classes, credit card payment and bank transfer. Let me write the code for this problem statement. Uh, this is the solution for the problem statement. The interface name is payment method, which is consist of two abstract methods, validate details and process payment. These methods must be implemented in the classes. The class credit card payment implements interface payment method. This class is consist of one instance variable. 
the parameter is constructed as used to initialize the instance variable the validate details method which are used to validate the credit card number the condition has been written here details dot details means credit card number matches the method which checks whether the credit card is consists of exactly 16 digits d stands for digits and details dot matches then regular expression if it is matches it returns true otherwise it returns false then it comes to the process payment method then credit card number has been displayed then process credit card payment that amount has been displayed then it comes to the second class bank transfer payment the implement the same interface name payment method it is consist of one instance variable account number the account number has been initialized by using the constructor again it comes to the valid details abstract method then account number dot matches the regular expression the minimum digit should be 10 the maximum digit should be 12 if it is true it returns true otherwise which returns false when it comes to the process payment method the account number has been displayed processing bank transfer payment of the amount is also be displayed when it comes to the main method the instance have been created to the credit card payment class i am passing credit card number as the argument the reference type is interface payment method comes to the second statement the instance have been created to the bank transfer payment class the reference type is interface i am passing account number as an argument then comes to the if condition the reference variable name dot valid details the credit card number is passing if it is true the validating the credit card number is true then we can able to invoke the process payment method otherwise it shows the message invalid credit card details when it comes to the another if condition the bank transfer reference variable dot calling valid details then account number is passing as an argument then if it is true we can able to call process payment method then otherwise invalid bank transfer details i will run this application no errors in the source code go for run the application java space interface example see here the credit card number has been displayed the processing credit card payment amount is also be displayed account number has been displayed then processing bank transfer payment of the amount is also be displayed for example if the credit card number is only 15 digits then condition returns false then we may get the invalid credit card details i will do compile once again no errors in the source code we will go for run the application look at this invalid credit card details then account number has been displayed processing bank transfer payment is also displayed but here the credit card details are invalid this application has been developed by using interface if any doubt regarding the interface concept you may ask through the comment box thank you thank you all for watching my videos